Do you want to learn about a really obscure Marvel hero who was an Avenger and has one of the best designed costumes in comics? Well, here you go. Let's introduce you to Stingray. Stingray is Dr. Walter Newell, who made his first appearance in Tales to Astonish number 95 in 1967, although he didn't become Stingray until Submariner number 19 in 1969. Dr. Walter Newell, who would become Stingray, first helped Namor defeat Tiger Shark and afterwards designed a costume that would help him take part in battles. He also designed it primarily to explore the oceans. Dr. Newell had more run-ins with sporadic appearances with other heroes throughout the years. After he designed his costume, which included Namor mostly, but also the Hulk and even a run with the Defenders, it ended up that Dr. Walter Newell married his lifelong love who happened to also be the sister of the villainous Tiger Shark. After several other sporadic appearances and battles, he and his wife became the caretakers of Hydro Base. As a, as a caretaker of Hydro Base, Stingray became a part of the Avengers. Due to the Masters of Evil destroying the Avengers mansion, they needed a place to reside, and they found Hydro Base at that time. As such, Dr. Walter Newell became an integral part of the team. Also during this time, he became a foul of Iron Man. Tony Stark was involved in the armor wars and he was hunting down rogue pieces of tech that was supposedly Stark tech. As such, he fought Stingray and determined it had nothing to do with any Stark technology. However, the damage was done and his relationship with Iron Man would never be the same. During Stingray's tenure with the Avengers, the Hydro base was destroyed. However, with the help of Quasar, he was able to salvage as much of his equipment as possible. After such time, he and his wife left the team and he devoted his life to research and semi-retired. However, Stingray would come out of retirement when Cap made the call. When the Civil War was going on between him and Iron Man, Stingray sided with Cap and fought against the Superhuman Registration Act. However, the result of the Civil War ended with Cap being arrested and all of his followers being arrested as well. As such as punishment, Stingray was ordered to take part in Camp Hammond, where he trained to be a better superhero and actually was assigned as the leader of the Point Men for the state of Hawaii. After this point of the Civil War, Stingray again was back to making sporadic appearances throughout the Marvel Universe. He made such appearances in the Fear Itself event and the Axis event, making small contributions to battles. It was some time before Stingray made a notable contribution to any regular appearances as he joined the Mercs for Money, which was led by Deadpool. Deadpool is well known in the Marvel Universe and is well known to also be unhinged. Stingray was an odd choice to join this team, but he was working undercover and reporting to Captain America regarding all of Deadpool's hijinks and trying to keep him in line. Although this setup did not last and Stingray eventually left the team. The last appearance we know from Stingray is that he encountered Tiger Shark once again and was in battle with him. However, they both came upon an unhinged and psychotic Namor who attacked them both and savagely beat Stingray and had sharks attack him to the point of almost death. He has recovered, but we haven't seen him since. Here's hoping we see more of Stingray in the very near future. Stingray has no natural superhuman gifts. However, he's a brilliant oceanographer, inventor, and engineer. He designed this suit to withstand pressures of 1,200 feet below sea level. The suit gives him superhuman speed and dur durability, as well as enhanced strength underwater and above. His suit allows him to swim at superhuman speeds and is able to glide through the air above the water. His suit also shoots a potent electrical blast out of his gauntlets. Although Singray has never been the best hand-to-hand -hand fighter, he has been trained, of course, by Captain America, so he can well hold his own against any opponent. And with his armor and weapons, he's a massive opponent, not to be underestimated. And he needs to be more popular. Rumor is he could show up in the Armor Wars Disney Plus show. Let's hope so. If you have enjoyed what you have watched, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you check out our other videos. Thank you.